Hi, everyone. This is Aaron, and you are listening to the Sound Words Podcast. Dive in, dig deep is my Instagram account dedicated to the beauty of the Bible and the role of reading in the Christian life. I recently went live with my friend Victoria. She is a writer and blogger, and in this episode, we talked about the story behind her new blog, her content and aesthetic on Instagram, her recent posts on discontentment and uncertainty, and how she would encourage other Christians to use social media as a platform. Thanks for listening. Hey, Victoria. Hey. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good too. I'm glad this is working. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad you. I'm glad you're back too. Um, oh, yeah. I, yeah. Um, thanks for doing this. You. Yeah, you have. Back. You have a new blog. We need to talk about this because you've been you've been hyping it up. I got excited. <laughs> why don't you? I'm excited. I'm excited too. Yeah. Why don't you tell us about that really quick? Yeah. So I've had the platform, the page, um, for almost two years. I think in the summer it's two years, and I have always meant to start a blog website to really get into it. And I started. Well, I kind of started working on the website like a year ago but it never got published and I it's yeah right. so I never really felt like the website was like ready enough um I want it to be you know perfect so it never got published and then I decided to just take it a step further and make it a whole relaunching kind of thing um it's always been about encouragement and it's always been about spreading hope I think for me that that's what gets me fired up, like encouraging people, speaking truth over people. We have so much opportunity and so much, you know, like there's so many little moments during the day where I get to speak in truth over friends or um, even just, you know, over my marriage and stuff. So I think I just wanted to take it a bit further and invite people into that and just kind of encourage people to pursue that with everything they have. Yeah. Um, so, yeah that's kind of the main part behind the blog and then um over the past few years i've gotten way more into health too now it's like i can't separate health from faith anymore i think it's so deeply connected so i'm going to school for that actually i'm going to school oh, for cool. health. oh and, very nice um i decided to kind of keep my doors a little wider open and integrate that into the blog so here we are yeah I think, I think like what I appreciate is that like, it is very like a holistic approach to like faith and spirituality, but also like our bodies, like, you know, God gave us our bodies and we do need to take care of them. And the way that we take care of our bodies does like affect the way how we relate to God and with others. And so I think that holistic approach is, is really good. Um, yeah, you're starting, you're starting school soon, right? That's why we had to do this call like today. <laughs> yeah, tomorrow. Actually. Are you excited? Like wh what? It's going to be online though, right? Yeah, it's all online. I'm very excited. Honestly, I had to wait for a long time to start college here in the States. So I'm pumped. I am so excited to go to college. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So you, you, you didn't always live here, right? No. Yeah. Can, can like you, it. can you tell me? Yeah. Can you tell me that about that whole story really quick? Oh yeah. Okay. Well, I'll try to break it down. So basically, yeah. I um I was born and raised in Germany. That's where my family lives. That's where I grew up. Completely German, no American anything to it. Um. Then once I graduated high school, I really wanted to do a gap year in the states, um, because you know it just sounds like a great idea to go to America. <laughs> um. So that was kind of a dream of mine, and um, I ended up going to use the mission. I did a discipleship training school and that's six months but shortly after I decided you know I don't think I'm done here yet and I really felt God tell me to just go back and volunteer with Youth of the Mission so I was in Florida first for a few years and um, that's where I met my husband so eventually we started dating got engaged got married and then right after our wedding um, God was or right before our wedding actually God was telling us to leave missions and to pursue business and to move to the other side of the country. So yeah. now Washington State, it's beautiful, but it's been a journey. Um, but it's home now. So yeah. yeah, no, I that I know I caught like snippets of your story just like 
through reading your posts and like even a little bit on your bio on your blog. But I'm sure you'll be sharing a lot more of that, I guess, as the days go on, as you keep yeah. riding on there and keep doing more Instagram content. Um, I, so. I, I want to talk really briefly about your like the content on your Instagram. I do appreciate how um, you're, you're talking about your faith. Can you just tell me like kind of your overall like vibe, like how you use your Instagram and even like your whole aesthetic behind it? Yeah. Um, well, thank you. Yeah, I really enjoy sharing about faith. I think what I've learned so far is that it's okay to not know everything. Um, it really was kind of nerve wracking in the beginning because I never want people to think that I think I have it all, you know? Yeah, um, totally understand. I think my approach now or how I try to share is, yeah, kind of this open invitation to this is what I experience. And, you know, I truly believe our testimonies are so powerful. Um, the Bible says it, but I've experienced it as well. So I think the approach is more so this is what I experienced, but I want you to go and find it for yourself. Um, I know that if we invite Jesus in, he will show up, you know, he will um, make sure we get to know him for who he truly is. And, mm -hmm. um, you know, I hope that with my sharing, that kind of invites people or makes people curious to really go after that and not just what church seems to be, you know, yeah. um, it can be a lot of things, but sometimes not necessarily what, who Jesus is. Yeah. So it's just kind of, I don't know, like from a place of love, honestly, I'm learning to love people. Well, <laughs> it's a really hard thing to learn. I have found so far. Yeah. Um, yeah. Especially and, like doing online ministry, you know, like I feel yeah. that like you're trying to like talk to people, speak into people's lives, but everybody's coming from different places. Um, and yeah. so when, when you, when you try to speak truth to people, you want to, I guess you want to try to like, be gentle but also like you you don't like compromise either you know and so exactly. i i yeah. appreciate that i i think also what i like about your posts is that they're they're pretty real at least to me they seem they seem open they seem vulnerable yeah. you recently wrote some posts about like discontentment and uncertainty mm -hmm. and i think those were really um good considering like the times that we're living in do you mm -hmm. want to elaborate on just some of those points that you were making um sure yeah um well, uncertainty is kind of everywhere right now. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I think that what hit me the most is, you know, I'm out of work right now. I'm at home. Obviously, I have school going on soon. Mm -hmm. But um, it's, yeah, it's been very different. And I have friends that work 80-hour weeks and are, you know, so busy. So it's nothing is normal. No one really knows what's going to happen next. And I think when I really started to spend a lot of time with myself, you know, not having anything to do, it kind of, it kind of became this revelation of, like, there's always been uncertainty, you know, like, the Bible says it, and we see it all the time, like, we don't know even what the end of the day holds, we don't know what tomorrow holds, yeah. um, it's very much out of our control, so I think I realized that we, we've never been in control, you know, it's just now being more obvious to us yeah and that especially there with faith it's been it's been a very good process I mean honestly I'm still in the midst of it all but mm. just learning to surrender it to God and be like yeah like I mean now than more than ever we know we need you but we always need to do just as much yes yes yeah yeah and I appreciate that you know you're pointing us to Jesus and God and that he's in control over all of this. And, you know, that's really what we need to hear during these times. Um, I think I'm looking forward to reading more of that on your Instagram, as well as your blog. How would you encourage other Christians to be using either blogging or Instagram uh, during this unique time that we're all in? <laughs> well, I think there's a lot of Christian bloggers around, right? So yeah. a lot of them are doing a fantastic job. I'm still figuring it out too. But what I found is the best or just the easiest approach for me is to, yeah, to just be real. Um, mm. I am, I don't have to be anyone I'm not. And I can be confident in knowing who I am in Christ. So um, to me, it's just sharing 
um sometimes you know it's it's funny because i i'm not a huge content planner it just kind of comes to me <laughs> that's so, okay to me it's kind of um like what what is encouraging i never want to just share something and not leave leave it on an encouraging note and i think anyone can do that like if it's just your friends reading if it's just your family reading if it's ten thousand people reading you know um mm. to kind of say listen up like you're not alone and um we have hope you know we have hope yeah. and yeah. we always did yeah that's so beautiful thank you so much for sharing with me i look forward to reading more of your blog the link is in your profile right and yeah. And I look forward to more of your content with um, with what we're going through, with your schooling, with your marriage, everything. It's it's really fun to just follow you along. Thanks for coming on to talk with me. Thank you so much and for supporting me. That's so kind. <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep writing. And I really appreciate you spreading Jesus just in, in our little area of the internet. Thanks for doing it. And I'll I'll see you around. Yeah. Talk to you All right. soon. Bye, Victoria. Bye. Bye. Thanks, Victoria, for being my guest on the show, and thank you, everyone, for listening. Follow Victoria at victoria.sky, and you'll find the link to her website on her profile and in the show notes. Follow my Instagram account, Dive and Dig Deep, and don't forget to find me on the Soul and Network podcast, the Walnut Commentary podcast for my church, and the SVRGN podcast with my wife, Jess. I'll put all of those links in the show notes. In the show notes, you'll find the link to the Sound Words podcast archive. And don't forget to subscribe to Sound Words on YouTube, Spotify, or your favorite podcast player. Just search for Sound Words. My website is musicgoon.com. The email address for this podcast is soundwords at musicgoon.com. And you can always tweet me at musicgoon. Thanks. See you soon.